This is Pierce Gordon here with a um, web review of an app on Google Chrome called Chrome Remote Desktop. Now I'm doing it from a uh, Chromebook 5550 by Samsung, but let's just go ahead and take a look at this. How it works silly is um, you can access a laptop by getting an access code. Now you get the access code by sharing the laptop. Originally, like I can't. It's not available for, for Chromebooks, so I can't share it. But when you press the share button on a PC, a code pops up. Um, the code you would put into the access here, and then you would press the connect button. Now it's not going to work on this because the code doesn't exist, because there is no code. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the uh, desktop looks like. So 21. And here we go. Here's a look at a Windows Vista, as you can see, Home Premium. This laptop's actually um, in another room in my house. It's just streaming through the internet. Let's go ahead and look at my user. Going, going. You know. Okay. And one of the problems with this is every time I log in or log off of a user, um, it always disconnects it. I, I don't know why, maybe it's just a bug. But here we go. So here's, look at it. Minecraft doesn't work on it. I've tried it. Then I've got my Google Plus, my Google Play, and I saw a YouTube video with iPhoto. Now the mouse disappears too, sometimes. Unless I'm scrolling over images. And I think it's because I'm using a, um, and there's my Minecraft, which I'll show you what happens when I try to run Minecraft. Uh, it can't even, it just can't read my mouse, right? It's pretty weird. It's like when I try to direct, even if I use a, um, ugh. Just a sec, let me back you up. Now scoot your read forward. So you see this mouse right here? I did a little review on it. Um, even if I plug the mouse in, which I thought it and I saw in some videos that it could be my touchpad. And maybe it just doesn't read my touchpad right. So you see, it's plugged in now. And then I do this and it still, it freezes up like crazy. So let's hit the escape. Now it will still send keys. So, just a second. As you can see, let's switch to user. Let's go to a user where it actually runs. Nah. Okay, I'm just going to send the keys. So, Control, Delete. Control delete. Okay, it's sending the keys. Okay. Now I'll need to reconnect. Okay. So here it is. Now we're going to switch the user. So we can go to user actually runs. Now you see, it'll have to reconnect again. If it goes to any kind of weird screen, it seems that the Chrome remote, remote desktop software doesn't run. Um, so here we go. Now let's go to my brother's. Do, 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 loading, loading. He wasn't even logged on. So see the mouse shows up here. Little photo of the Rangers. Go Rangers, man. Going back to the World Series this year. You know. Cool photo. But you can see the mouse shows up. And what I think is the problem, I don't know this. I've, I've read this on reviews too. That if you get a cursor, um, like you change the cursor, it won't show up. And I've got a little... Reconnect. Huh.
There we go. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's my actual Chromebook toolbar. So, as you can see, now volume can't be streamed through either. So, if I hit the iTunes switch, it'll actually broadcast it through the speakers connected to the actual computer. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's CPU usage. Um, okay. So, that's pretty much my review of Chrome Remote Desktop. It's a cool little web app, and if you're thinking about not getting a Chromebook, you know, that was one of my main problems with it. But it will run devices, um, like, if you want to edit a Word document, you can edit it uh, through Chrome Remote Desktop. And it also runs, um, believe there's a software like it on mobile, I do not know. But if there's not, there should be, because it'd be great for an Android device. Let's go ahead and exit that out, and there's my home screen. So, thanks for watching. This is Pierce Gordon here. Um, subscribe, rate, I love your feedback. And I'll get back to you really fast, I always do. So this is Pierce Gordon signing off. Thanks for watching.